Ուկրայինայում ձախողումը Մոսկվային ստիպում է արագացնել Հայաստանի պետականության ոչնչացման և Կովկասը Թուրքերին հանձնելու պլանը։ The failure in Ukraine is compelling Moscow to accelerate implementation of the plan to destroy Armenia's statehood and to hand over the Caucasus to the Turks in order to organize its inevitable removal as lossless as possible. The actions being taken in Ukraine are the actions that Russia is taking directly. After the crime that it jointly committed with the Turks in Artsakh in March of this year and after annulling the Minsk group, Russia is also directly facing Armenia. No matter how much it tries to present itself as a mediator and peacekeeper in the finalized trilateral agreements. No, you are not a mediator. Vladimir Putin and Kremlin, you directly precipitated this tragedy. You precipitated the 44-day war. You precipitated the slaughter of the Armenians. And now you are trying to precipitate the transfer of Artsakh to Azerbaijan. What will happen to Russia after the end of Putin? It is approximately clear, and in the new stage of instability in the Russian state, under the auspices of the Akranka or the Department for Protecting Public Security and Order, discussions are being held to maintain at least one-fifth of the country. Russia paid and has yet to pay a high price for its raid against Armenia. All the recent convulsive steps of the Kremlin will fail. I just unintentionally recall the interview that Artur Vanetsyan gave to Petros Gazarian. During the interview, Petros Gazarian simply and openly asked Artur Vanetsyan if they will annul the document signed on November 9, 2020. With beads of sweat rolling down his face, Artur Vanetsyan mumbles and does not dare to give an affirmative answer because they are not going to annul any document and are not going to renounce any order of the Kremlin. Artur Vanetsyan, Robert Kocharyan, Serge Sarkisyan, Levon Terpetrosyan, Nikol Pashinyan, all of them are the submissive servants of the Kremlin. Dear compatriots, the overthrow of the Kremlin's regime is near. The defeat on the Ukrainian front is near. Some sources are already talking about the worsening health condition of Putin and the surgery that he is scheduled to undergo. The show that we are seeing on the streets is a reflection of the dying Russian Empire in Armenia and the last desperate and convulsive attempts of the Kremlin's puppets in Armenia to save their skin and their belongings. This will not work out. The moment or the X moment is not far off when the Czechist system within the Kremlin and the branch of the Czechist system in Armenia will be so weakened that together we will strike for the last time and lead the national liberation struggle to its triumphant climax, bringing a national and provisional government to power. The ranks of the National Democratic Alliance are growing and increasing. Yesterday, the National Democratic Alliance recorded over 60,000 subscribers on its YouTube channel. The show on the streets of Yerevan is only helping us because it is helping bring to senses our misled supporters and compatriots who still had some hopes for the people like Pashinyan, Kocharyan and Ser Sarkisyan, those who were choosing between the bad and the worst, those who were voting for Kocharyan because they wanted to see Pashinyan step down from power, and those who were voting for Pashinyan so that Kocharyan doesn't return to power. Due to this very show, those people are becoming disappointed and disgusted with both Pashinyan and Kocharyan and are compelled to seek and find us, that is to say, the real alternative and national force. Our army is becoming strong. Our army is increasing in number and more people are joining our army. And the moment is not far off when together we will flood the squares of Yerevan and will impose our will on the puppets of the Kremlin and on the whole world, letting them know that here and after Armenia must have a national government and that Armenia must be a national democratic country which is vested with real sovereignty and a national democratic country which will pursue its national interests. Բաժանորդագրվեք ազգային ժողովրդավարական բևերի յութուբյան ալիքին։